after a while of jumping from job to job, I ended up here as a temp 22 years ago um, and started just behind me in the offices behind me in Weir area in customer services. And I gradually moved through the business from customer services. I went to water quality and worked in our laboratories in compliance and then from compliance to fleet. It's not really a big jump. We need to make sure all our fleet comply with standards and things like that. So I'm not a fleet person per se, but I do love compliance and I do love knowing that we're safe out there and that we have everything done right. I didn't do the college route at all, so I've actually worked my way through the business, which is great. Um, in the last few years, um, I had got a few transport qualifications to help me do my job. And um, whilst that's very good for me in my role, it's very good for me personally because I didn't go the traditional route. My dad died when I was 18. So at 18, I ch chose a very different route because I didn't want to go to college. I needed to deal with something quite traumatic that had happened in my life. So I am a single mum. I've got a little girl, Anna, who's 12. My life very much revolves around Anna with Northumbrian Water because they let me work flexibly. Helps me do school runs the days that I've got her. The days I haven't got her, I typically do Essex, Suffolk, and all the other areas of the business that I have to do. When I first came into role almost four years ago, you go to an external transport meeting and there'd be two, three women in that room because transport's typically a male-dominated environment. But now, a third of the room are women. Um, I'm really up for the challenge. Being a woman hasn't stopped me in the role. It's possibly helped me in the role because the men in the industry are quite keen to offer advice, give you support. And what's been really nice for me is that Northern Gas Networks are about to uh, have just appointed a new fleet manager. And she rang me up on Friday and asked me if I'd be her mentor. Mm -hmm.